According to Tao Zhang, the IMF Deputy Managing Director, the Emergency Financing and the Rapid Credit Facility RCF will deliver liquidity support to help Kenya cover its balance of payments gap this year. It will also provide the much-needed resources for fiscal interventions to safeguard public health and support households and farms affected by the crisis. According to the IMF, concessional lending terms, financing the RCF carries a zero interest rate and has a grace period of five and a half years and a final maturity of 10 years. The IMF warned the impact of the coronavirus fallout on the Kenyan economy will be severe, but also added it was in close contact with the Kenyan authorities and stands ready to provide policy advice and further support as needed. Kenya first reported its COVID-19 case on March 13. Later that month, government said it was seeking 122.5 billion shillings emergency funding from the IMF and the World Bank to support the slowing economy in the face of the coronavirus crisis. According to the latest Kenya Economy Survey report, Kenya's economy expanded at a slower pace of 5.4% last year, down from 6.3% in 2018. Travel restrictions and social distancing rules have also impacted on consumer spending, setting the stage for job cuts and unpaid leave to workers struggling with reduced cash flow. Kenya is also planning to tap two other facilities by the African Export Import Bank and the Africa Development Bank to help member countries alleviate sudden economic disruptions caused by the coronavirus outbreak. Kenya is among member countries allowed to tap a 319 billion emergency fund set up last month by the Afrexim Bank and named Pandemic Trade Impact Mitigation Facility to support its central banks and other financial institutions to meet trade debt payments that fall due and and to avert trade payment defaults. Kenya is also among member countries allowed to access a 1 trillion shillings emergency fund announced by the AFDB to help elevate sudden economic disruptions caused by the COVID-19 outbreak. Massimo Lanoi, K24 Business.